Go. Well, you all just saw what's left in Nick's car. Did you see what's on this? Go to the name side, the driver's door. Uh, right That's there where his Nick. name is. That's for Nick to look at. So, after getting everything apart on the car, um, ended up cutting the right front upper hoop off. Um, that lid box over there has got a pretty big um, dent in it, probably in an inch at least. Uh, this whole right front frame rail is rolled up and it's actually got uh, the one by two box down here rolled up pretty hard. So, uh, this car is, by all rights, it, it's going to be junk, um, unfortunately. It was a really good car. Uh, we knew it was going to be junk, but you can see I can't even get the lower A-frame off. The bolt's bent, uh, the way the mounts and stuff are twisted, uh, and, and the A-frame's junk itself. You can see how much it bent the lower ball joint right there. It's just, uh, it did a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to torch, I'll probably take the torch to that in the morning uh, so I can get this motor mount off because it's still good. I can still use it, but other than that, what you see is about what I'm going to leave on it. Take the pedals off, string column, string box, and um, sway bar and lead. Take the greenhouse off of it. And it's actually going to go up for sale. Um, this is actually like gold for people that buy, build street stocks. Um, me and Dad were talking about it the other day. Uh, this is a really, really good deal. Um, if you're putting a street stock together or anything like that, this is definitely something that would save you a lot of time and would make you a really, really nice cage. And you can cut the cage off at the top of the uh, lead boxes and you could actually tie the stop frame in um, right there above the axle to where uh, all the street stock rules around here let you fa have a fabricated uh, frame from the axle back. So you could actually run the stock frame rail up and over um, to meet what we have left of the rear clip because the rear clip's still good. So then your fuel cell and everything else would still be good on this car. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities here with this car. Um, I don't know if he's put it up yet um, because we're not done taking it all the way down, but that's the plan is to sell it and um, make room in the shop. Unfortunately, that's about what we got to do now. Where you at, Dad? I'm right here. I'm over here on the fast fuel, Longhorn Fab car. So just so you know, I mean, uh, if there is any interest out there in that car, uh, it'll actually be ready to go by the Le end of the week. Left side frame rail is good. Left side frame rail is fine. So you could actually uh, butt that up against your stock left frame side rail frame rail. Make that a, a very nice free stocker. I'm not sure the rules of the sports drum, um, but you know, for the price that <laughs> you have to put a foot for, in it for, for the drum. <laughs> yeah, make it a little bit longer. Uh, but for the price, uh, fuel cell cages, all that's good in the car. Uh, for the price that uh, Tommy and them's asking for it, uh, you really can't afford it. You, hey, you couldn't buy the tubing for it. Uh, but anyway, good deal right there if somebody's wanting it. Uh, where we're at right now, we're getting ready right now. Uh, we got Nick's car down right now, having some rear damage repaired on it from Kentucky, and we'll have it ready to go at Kansas in a couple of weeks. We got Kevin Hinkle in this car at Kansas as well, so we're preparing that. Um, We've got uh, two cars out right now with some, doing some body work, getting ready for the Daytona test in January. Uh, it's all going to be Elmore's and composite cars at the January test. Uh, so that's what we're doing right there. Uh, Mike, uh, we've got some, got some bigger news coming along right now. We've got uh, some stuff actually for Will next year right now. We've got the Salem deals sold up right now, and as well as both dirts already for 2018, which is really, really great for us uh, at this this early of a stage so what that means for us is we can start preparing for Salem and the dirt races right now uh, and that will make things a whole lot better for us next year so uh, we'll bring you up to on that as it goes on uh, that's why this car is going out right now it's actually getting uh, obviously body work done but we're gonna do some uh, updates on the front clip and all that kind of stuff uh, from what we learned with the Salem car and make this thing hopefully better for the dirt, which I, I just don't think there's any way it's going to go backwards um, for what we're going to do with the car. So it's going to Charlotte Wednesday is the plan. I'm going to leave out Wednesday, early Wednesday morning, 
Uh, me and Daniel uh, Ferris will be headed down there. And we'll keep Daniel away from the bowling alleys. Yeah, we ain't got time. Uh, we're going to be headed back, probably get back Thursday night sometime, um, is the plan. But that's, so. that's what we're trying to do right now is to, uh, because the company was, was uh, so good to actually start this thing rolling this early, is making some much needed updates on these race cars. Uh, so we're excited. I mean, this car actually was on the pole with the coin. And we think we can make it better even again next year. And that's that's exactly what we're planning to do, is trying to have one car that is strictly for the dirt, and we're gonna have our Salem car strictly for Salem. So, um, and we even hope to have that Salem car back to Salem before the end of November, testing it as well. So, uh, but we've got some things we gotta change on it. And again, because of where we're at, we'll be able to do that. So, some neat things going on right now here at Kimmel Racing, so stay tuned. Uh, Question and answer, Turk. We're going to probably do that uh, the end of October. And um, maybe the last Saturday, about the same time in October. And we'll go from there. We'll get a date and a time. I don't know what that is right off hand, but that's what we're looking for. No Halloween costume at the QA. I know how much you like Halloween. Yeah, we already went to some haunted houses. So that's our plan right now. And we'll get you a time and a date. But I think in the last Saturday in October, we'll do a question and answer. Uh, we've got some wrote down from the last time, so kind of start throwing things around there, and we'll go from there. So other than that, I appreciate it. Tune in next week. Thank you, guys.